With regard to temperature, nearly all materials have a positive temperature coefficient. And this means that the higher the temperature of the material, the higher the resistance. One exception to the rule is carbon. This has a negative temperature coefficient. So the higher the temperature, the lower its resistance. Temperature is measured in degrees Celsius. To prove that temperature affects the resistance of a material, we could place a cable drum in an oven at a moderate temperature of, say, 50 degrees Celsius. Now this temperature is two and a half times greater than the 20 degrees Celsius at which the value of rho is established, but not hot enough to damage the cable insulation. And in the best style, here's one I prepared earlier. This is the cable drum, which we calculated had a resistance of approximately 0.68 of an ohm. So measuring the resistance now, we can see it gives us a reading of 0.82 ohms. So we can see there's been an increase. Resistance, then, is the force within a material which opposes the flow of electrons. Another way of looking at it is to imagine that resistance, or resistivity, is the strength of the pull, or hold, that the nucleus of an atom has over its outermost electrons. The next thing to consider is the force or energy required to overcome resistance and steal or knock an electron away from its atom. <laughs>